If it's about saving lives and protecting the NHS, a major part of the Omicron response depends on whether it is indeed milder than the Delta strain. And today, the first evidence from UK hospitals that it is. A major study from Scotland estimates a 56% reduction in the risk of hospitalisation there with Omicron compared to Delta. Researchers in London looking at English data came up with a similar number. Those with Omicron 40 to 45% less likely to spend a night or more in hospital compared to Delta infections. Overall, people were 15 to 20% less likely to go to hospital at all with Omicron in England. Definitely good news, but good enough to mean we can relax about the new variant. So what we're seeing, of course, is it's less likely um, with this Omicron infection to result in hospitalisation if you are infected. Um, but as, um, balanced against that is the fact that we're seeing that the vaccines are very slightly less effective, both in terms of preventing that infection in the first place and also perhaps in preventing hospitalisation. So essentially, these two things are probably going to balance out. And what we still remain concerned about is the very fast doubling that we're seeing of cases, meaning the infection spreading very, very rapidly and therefore um, is likely to pose some pressure on the NHS in the coming weeks. Following Scotland's lead, Wales today announced social distancing rules from Boxing Day. Northern Ireland will order nightclubs closed and will advise people to reduce household mixing. But the Westminster government is sticking to Plan B, for now at least. The government has issued guidance that's been the plan B that's been brought into place, but we'll keep it under review. But the best advice to everyone is you know, continue uh, to remain cautious and, uh, and, and, and keep looking forward to, to Christmas. And as, as the Prime Minister said, no new, new restrictions uh, before Christmas. And, and, and beyond that, we will just keep the situation under review. But not cautious enough for some. Richard lost both parents and a sister to COVID-19. The fact that we couldn't go into hospital to say our goodbyes was really heartbreaking. Sometimes when people do get a bit blase about it, it's, it's hurtful, you know. Um, it starts to bring it back a little bit of, you know, what can happen and you just want to shake people and say, you know, get the vaccination and get the treatment and, you know, give you more chance of, of surviving it. The WHO certainly coming as close to criticising England's response as United Nations diplomacy allows. We have repeatedly said um, to countries, not just across Europe, but to put in targeted, layered approach uh, measures so that transmission can be reduced. We've been very clear on, on asking uh, everyone, you know, really to not wait to act. Huge uncertainties remain, and Omicron could still be very dangerous to the NHS. But compared to what COVID-19 has thrown at us so far, evidence that this variant looks milder is surely a cause for cautious celebration. Tom Clark, Sky News.